you so much for meeting with us on such short notice, Vanessa. Yeah, anything for my VPs. What's up? So, Georgia and I stayed up all night brainstorming a new idea for MUTV. We just thought the club could use a little bit of spicing up, which is why we want to pitch a new series to you. Okay. We just thought to ourselves, what are two things that everyone loves? Aaron Chun's cornbread and when Chang buys his pizza? Close. Lasers and cats. Oh my god. Before you make any decisions, just hear us out. In a future, there was nuclear war, and because of all the radiation, cats developed the ability to shoot lasers out of their mouths. Some of the cats will be used for good, others for evil. Who will win the world of laser cats? <laughs> Nice shot. Thanks. I've been working on a new prototype. A new prototype? What is it? Can't tell you, just in case it doesn't work out. But if it does work out, it'll change the trajectory of the universe as we know it. Okay. Shrimp, look out behind you! Thanks for saving my life back there, Captain Meatball. As long as we have cats that shoot lasers out of their mouths, we'll be okay. Hang on, I'm getting something from home base. It's Mr. M, our boss. He needs our help. Let's go. Captain Meatball, Sir Shrimp. Thank meowsers you're here. I need your help. Atticus Cornelius has captured all the laser cats and is going to take over the world if you two don't stop him. He hasn't captured all the laser cats. Let's do this. It's locked. Yeah, I was gonna do that, so... Yeah, okay. Drop the cats. Let's fight like real people. Ah, Sir Shrimp and Captain Meepo, I've been expecting you. The gig is up, Atticus. You've been caught. Let these laser cats go. Ah, silly little Meepo. If it were only that easy. It is. Not so fast, Shrimpy. No! Why are you doing this, Atticus? It's a cat-eat-cat -cat world out there. See, Captain Meepo? I've captured all of these laser cats so I can shave them, harness their laser powers, and turn them into a powerful, electronically charged felice. And rule the world! <laughs> An electrically charged what? A felice. Do you mean felice? Yeah, that's what I mean. A felice. No, you're saying a felice. It's a fleece. I mean, are you hearing that too? Yeah. Silence! It's now time to show you what I mean. What you're about to see is a dramatic reenactment of Atticus Cornelius' evil plan. Viewer discretion advised. You're a sick man, Atticus Cornelius. Actually, my health has never been better. 
What do we do? We whisper for a while and confuse him to think that we have a plan. Okay. That's enough! You two have been the only thing standing in the way of my plan. The shrimp boy will go first. Meatball, I saw you fighting my guards, and you'll be a valuable asset on my team once hypnotized, of course. I'll never work for you, Atticus! You won't have a choice! <laughs> guards, seize him! No, no, no! Come on, Sam, think of something. Wait! But if it doesn't work out, it'll change the trajectory of the universe as we know it. Release the prototype. The prototype? Uh, but, but we haven't tested it yet. It's not ready. Now! Release the prototype now! Uh, if you say so. So long, shrimp! What was that? You've got to be kidding me. Uh. Captain Meatball, you saved my life! All thanks to my prototype! So that's what you've been working on this whole time. You genius. I guess you could say the cat's out of the bag. Or the dog. And the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy. So? What'd you think? I love it! Get out. Yep, I'm your Got, Got it. it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm.